Hello friends, this short video explains what is decision analysis. So decision analysis is a quantitative approach to assess the relative value of different decision options which may be available. So when the decision about which option to select is a complex decision, then the decision analysis helps to generate the value for each of these decision op options and thus helps to decide the management of either an individual patient or maybe to formulate a policy decision for a group of similar patients. Now decision analysis, so whenever you are planning to undertake a decision analysis, I mean this you will uh, plan once you know that the problem at hand is complex one. So you would decide to do the decision analysis. Now once you decide that you want to apply decision analysis to your problem, the first and the foremost step would be to systematically break the problem. Okay. And this problem is then divided into several components. Now problem for decision analysis is always about a choice between two or more options that might be available. So that constitutes the problem for your decision analysis. This is then broken down into different components. Now what are these components? Let's understand with an example. So for example, if my problem is whether to treat HIV infected intravenous uh, drug users, whether to treat these uh, patients with anti-tuberculosis drug to prevent tuberculosis or whether not to treat. So here my decision option would be one to treat and another would be not to treat. Now some of, so this is my problem. Now some of the components for this problem would be something like, say what is the probability of tuberculosis in these HIV IV drug users? What is the sensitivity of diagnostic test that one might use to diagnose these patients whether they are tubercular or not and then also about like the life expectancy of these patients when they are treated with antitubercular drugs. So these are some of the components of this problem. Now once we have identified our problem and the components and also the outcomes we proceed with construction of decision tree. Here is the hypothetical decision tree. As you could see, we begin with decision node. Now there are certain uh, uh, legends for the square, circle and rectangular stuff which you see. However, maybe uh, nowadays when we have the software uh, that create these uh, automatically for us for decision node, chance node and outcome, uh, we may not really remember the legend. So basically it starts with the decision node. Now here we have different options. So here there are two options and that is our problem. Whether we should go for this decision option or whether we should go for an another uh, option which might be available. It can be two or more than two. Now once we have these two options or more options available with us, we come to chance node. Chance node is the event that might occur when we follow any one of these options. For example, if we follow the upper option at chance node, we might have event one and event two. Similarly, if we follow the bottom one, we may have uh, event 1 and 2 at this option. And then we at the end with uh, rectangular boxes, we have outcomes. 
so this is how uh, basically the decision tree looks like and this is what you constitute once you have this tree maybe on a paper or maybe uh, uh, on a uh, software uh, like tree plan which is available in excel so once you construct this the next task remains adding the values at each of these events and the outcome and these values are like probabilities as well as the outcome values measured in utilities or sometimes maybe cost and these values are more or less come from either literature from experts or sometimes with prospective studies and also uh, by inferring it from the available sources so once we have this decision tree constructed we hunt for literature or maybe we search the literature available with us systematically and then try to add the values at different uh, places and then proceed with the decision tree analysis now we won't go into the decision tree analysis th because the major uh, focus of this video is just to understand what this decision analysis is all about let's see one example here with a uh, which is given in this pathetic book uh, so here is the live example where the option is whether we should revaccinate children or we should not revaccinate them so this is our problem okay and it is complex because we really don't know what to do so this is our uh, decision options now whichever decision option we follow there will be some events occurring so for example if we revaccinate children they will either get exposed or may not get uh, exposed similar thing might happen when we don't revaccinate now once they get exposed now again there are different events possible like getting measles or not getting measles similarly even when they get they do not get exposed there are chances that they either get measles or don't get and similarly for another option now once they get measles okay they may either die or live well so this is our outcome and these events again can occur or the outcomes can occur at several events and options followed so based on so based on these components we have this decision tree for the problem of whether to revaccinate or not to revaccinate now once we have this decision tree the next task as we said is to enter the probability values for example when we revaccinate some of them gets exposed and some of them don't get exposed so what is the probability of getting exposed and then accordingly the probability of not getting exposed and accordingly getting measles not getting measles once they get measles what is the probability that they die and they live and so on so this is what the decision analysis and in short decision tree is all about and hope it makes easy to understand have a great time thank you